This is question 17. College Board asks a very long, perhaps unnecessarily long, question about probability from a table, but you actually have to read the whole question to make sure you're not missing anything important. It turns out that all that matters here is based on the data, which the following is the closest to the probability that a randomly selected adult, adult who is 18 to 35 years old prefers to live in a cool climate. So that is saying, of those who are 18 to 35 years old, this first row, what fraction prefer a cool climate? So your numerator is those who are in that row who like cool. Your denominator is all individuals you might have chosen. So your denominator is all individuals 18 to 35, which is 508. Your probability is your numerator. Those in that among that 508 who prefer cool, which is 168. If I can write. Your numerator, those who prefer cool among those 18 to 35, and your denominator, all those 18 to 35. And of course, I would prefer to do this on a scientific calculator or a graphing calculator. 168 over 508 is 0.3307. The choice that's closest would be C. When College Board asks for probability from a table, your denominator may be one or more rows. They have done it where it's more than one row. One or more columns, and again, they've done it where it's more than one column. Or your denominator might be the entire table. They might have asked of all adults in the survey, in which case your denominator would be 1,600. Or if they had said among all those who prefer cool, what's the if you randomly select an individual who prefers cool, what's the probability that they're 18 to 35? And that would give you 168 over the 486. In this case, they said a randomly selected adult who's 18 to 35, and that makes your denominator the entire top row. Make sure that you know how to read these tables for probability from a table. You are very likely to get those questions. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.